White Pog Zone. Yay! It's Christmas! Actually, yeah. Didn't there used to be a Christmas zone in, like, uh, Sonic the Lost Levels? I... Oh, I can't remember. I think it was called Dust Zone. I think it was just, um... It was a bit of, like, like Sandopolis in a way, but it just turned, turned white later on. Well, I remember there was a level in the Lost Levels, or something of that variety, where it was a hmm. Christmas-themed level. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played Lost Levels in a long time. Uh, neither have I, but I remember there being some sort of Christmas level. Yeah, I believe it was Dust Hill because it, tur it turned into snow all halfway through the level. And it was a puzzle-based level. Yeah. You, 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 you had to hit certain switches. Yeah. Hey, but, but hey, this level I think is the best level because it has a remix of one of my favorite songs from uh, the original Sonic Adventure. But we'll get to that in the next part, in the next few minutes. And the only time you actually, actually see a giant badnik. That is weird, and it's easy as shit. Well, early in this stage, you want to play the other giant bandits play Sonic Heroes. You can't avoid that. I swear, you cannot avoid that. Game design, what's that? I like the lighting uh, uh, on the caves. And like I say, it's more of a dynamic feel to it. Instead of just being flat, it's just like flat, just like the same kind of pattern all over the, all over the place. Trust us, guys. This game looks much better in HD. Yes. Hey, look. Roundabout. Hey, look. That was easy. These sections, uh, you're either, uh, keep going or die. Because if you stop, you're gonna die. I never have. Oh, I don't I... know what happens. I don't know what happens if you, if you do. Well, if you stop in the middle... Oh, you snowboard. Can... Out of nowhere. Where the fuck that come from? If you stop in those, uh, s uh snow, uh, Snow walls, you'll get crushed. Alright, I'm gonna try it next time. Yeah. Don't try it. I have you explained to get noticed, I have 155 lives. It's not as easy to get lives in this game as it is in the first, but it's still, it's pretty easy. Not as easy, but it's got the same problem where you can get a life every single level. Remember in Sonic 3 and Knuckles where I was like at 8 lives at Lava Reef? Yeah. That was a challenge. This is just pathetic. Yeah, I should play Sonic Sonic 2 sometime. I think I've still got 99 lives in that. You can only get 99 lives. Well, at least it has a cap. But this one does too. It's like 999. I think it also be e wants to be easy for the for the younger audience. Yeah. But really, people getting this game who are like fans of the original series, you should at least cater to them in some way. Like, if you're gonna have this sort of thing, you should have, a, you should have an easy mode or something. Like Mega Man 10. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna ca cater to the casual fans, have an easy mode. But hardcore fans are gonna be a little disappointed. Like us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was her. I'm noticing a little black bar on the side. It's gonna bother uh, me. Black power. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why, but one edge goes completely black, and the other edge goes black, and it kind of curves in a little bit, like it was on the TV screen. It bothers me. But hey, look, Pleasure Castle. I love this track so damn much. Like Twinkle this, Park. Like this is what a freaking Sonic song should be. Happiness and joy. And fun. inside note, during this level, I am barely holding the analog stick. Yeah, the thing about this level is automated, but the music makes up for it, because it's so awesome! Look, wall jump! But yeah, this this track uh, that's remixed is Pleasure Castle, or everyone just calls it Twinkle Park. Well, Twinkle Park Part 2, I think. It's Pleasure Castle. I don't know. Well, look at the track listings, jeez. I go by stage. And what part it was. Oh my god. Well, whatever. I am a huge fan of the original Sonic Adventure soundtrack, so you know. By the way, when are you going to do it? When are going to do Adventure 2? Whenever I fucking feel like it. No, we're Good gonna, answer. We're going to do it after I do the Regents match, which I am doing on my own channel. I have noticed. Yes. Yeah. It's informative. Not trying to be funny, just trying to help people know that I love a game. I love the game too. I'm trying to remember how long it took me to complete that game. I think it was about seven hours. 
the thing about this uh the thing about the music tracks in this game i've noticed is um in the original classic series like the tracks themselves were also really short like they weren't this short but they were short they were like, short but they always the you thing, could barely notice a loop yeah the thing is the looping in those games was done so well because you barely notice when the game when the track actually starts over but in this game, it's so obvious that it gets repetitive really quickly. Well, it's not unlike Sonic Sonic CD, where it actually is a full music track, and it's, and it fades out, then plays back in again. Well, Sonic. But those, the, but those, but those last about three to four minutes each. That's because the Sega CD had a lot of memory to, uh, you know, use. Like, uh, Cas like Castlevania Symphony of Night. And then we go from uh, the awesomeness of freaking White Park Act Two to this boring piece of shit with underwater levels and how much do we love underwater levels yeah why is white park the underwater level it's white park and um sylvania castle yeah but this one's more noticeable because you're in this one's 90 percent underwater yeah I fucking hit those seals i really do this track is so boring i love this remix it's, it's, it's just the track it is okay, it has some subterranean feel to it, but honestly... Well, coming from Pleasure Castle and the whole remix of, uh, for that, this is just boring. Like, this is noticeably boring. Yeah, I was gonna get through that, I've never been through that fucking path. Yeah, apparently there's something behind there, like a shorter pathway. Yeah, people have told me there's a shorter path pathway in this level, and I, I think it's that, I've never actually been through it. You're getting... you're, you're almost drowning quite a bit. Nah, no, I spent a long time, long, I think a long time with water trying to get further. Is that, uh, the, uh, Sonic Generations drowning music? Well, a, lot, a few things here have been lifted from Generations, uh, especially during Episode Metal. I, by the way, they, they've added the, uh, uh, classic Sonic falling signs, which I found extremely obnoxious in Generations because they plashed them everywhere. Acting like I'm a retard that doesn't know where there's bottomless pits. In Sonic Generation, it's probably only one. You know, all over the place, but it's only one during an actually a major fall area. But there's, but they plaster them throughout a giant bottomless pit, like we can't see it. Yes, we gotta fall, we gotta fall, we gotta fall, we gotta fall, we gotta fall. Yeah, I fucking know. I just fell down there last time. It gets pretty shameless in Wing Fortress. Oh, uh, Wing Fortress Act Three. Wait till we get to that one. Wait, is no, it's Sky Fortress. Same thing. Yeah, but still. Gotta keep consistent. That's the thing with uh, Sky Fortress. It's so much like Wing Fortress, it's not even funny. I think other times has been called the Sky Fortress now. Yeah. And the thing in Generations, I don't think was the Sky Fortress. Yeah. Quite, quite the flying battery. That wasn't flying battery. <laughs> That giant fortress was not flying battery. Blimp, whatever you want to call it. Someone got hit. Someone got, got killed by Big Ben. Yeah, I, but everyone calls that stupid blimp like flying battery. It's flying battery zone. Like, no, it's not. Stop trying to connect it to flying battery. It's in. It's in rooftop. It's in rooftop room. Well, it's. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's in both versions actually. Wait, in the classic version, it's destroyed. Why is it in the modern version? Yeah, maybe modern came first. Yeah, but when we get there, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. But right now, we're talking about episode two. Back to generations. <laughs> but no, seriously. Yeah, even though it's considered one of the best recent best recent Sonic titles, it's not the best of all time. That's not actually that's actually interesting because uh. Reviewers actually didn't like this much more than uh, episode one. Like I... that confuses me because a lot of things in this is much better, much better. Like I, I played the demo and the controls actually do feel pretty. They do feel a little bit better than uh, episode one. They don't feel as stiff, but it doesn't feel as flowing as it should. It, like I, like I said in the review, it is a major improvement. It is much better than episode one. To be fair though, episode one kind of set the bar pretty low. Yeah. I mean, I the presenta I mean, the presentation this is much better. This is a much better control feel better. This is overall a better game. Plus, you get a, a bonus content of episode one, which is the reason. 
But that's oh yeah, metal, metal, metal Sonic music. But in episode metal is the only bonus content you're gonna get. Yeah. Does this sound like look alike from Sonic OVA? I can't say. I mean, I never really pay attention to the OVA, but I don't know. I gotta be honest, this track does get repetitive, though. It's repetitive. It's probably the longest track there is. Probably, but I can. But it does sound like it loops quite a bit. Yeah, it's, this is the only track I can actually recall. I can recall White Park Act too. But that's because I love that track. But more fall signs. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall. I just hit a spring. Hey, what's that in the background? Is that? <gasps> It's Little Planet! Miracle Planet! Whatever. Little Planet! <laughs> Whatever! It's called Little Planet. So, um, I'm, I'm used- I've been reading the Sonic, Sonic comics again. Uh, they called it Miracle Planet. It's Little Planet to everyone else. This is one big roller coaster. Yeah. Actually, Little Planet doesn't play any sort of role in this game. Actually, it's, it actually somewhat does, considering it's supposed to be a somewhat follow-up to Sonic CD. Which is why they released it last year. That's but yeah, you can see that it's actually something built around it. You know what? Eggman, Eggman's doing nothing again. You know what really irritates me about this though? Like, this game, this game's trying to connect itself to Sonic CD. I can respect that, but there's no real reason to have Metal Sonic here. Like the only reason, the only real oh, reason. Oh yeah, it hits the it hits the ground. Honestly, keep aware of that because that killed me several times. I didn't know what the fuck happened. Like. Metal Sonic, like, the only reason they actually included Metal Sonic, I bet, is because they released Sonic CD for the Xbox and PSN. But, I see... Metal, Metal Sonic was announced before that, it was at the end of episode 1, remember? Yeah, well, okay, yes, I do remember that, but it just feels, he feels so pointless in this, though. Like, I know he was announced in episode 1, but he still feels like an entirely unnecessary part of the game. But if this is, like... I'm lost of words right now. It's because I, I blow your mind. Uh, why'd the lighting get darker? I really have no clue. It's not to do with, not to do with the capture device, because you see the actual hub is clearly visible. I guess the maybe, game... Maybe, 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 maybe it's midnight and the, light, the lights went out. I guess the boss fight just gave up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys in part three.